Any oh, as the youngest speaker here, I'm kidding. <laughs> um, uh, well, first, it's it's an honor to be here. Um, you know, tic- I'm not part of the TikTok generation, but, <laughs> but I, you know, I share the concern that TikTok has become a prohibitive national security risk that we can no longer afford to ignore. Uh, the Chinese Communist Party has no First Amendment right to control TikTok any more than the Soviet Union had a First Amendment right to control ABC and NBC and CBS uh, during the Cold War. Uh, as many of you know, TikTok is not merely a social media platform. It is the leading news source for the next generation. And the fact that we're putting the leading news source for the most impressionable minds in our society in the hands of our leading foreign adversary is an act of self-sabotage. It's an act of suicide. And as a New Yorker who lived through 9-11, I never thought in my wildest nightmares that I would see Osama bin Laden's letter to America trending on TikTok. So if that is not enough of a provocation to effectuate a forced sale of TikTok, I'm not sure what would be. So I'm honored to support this bill. 